All right, it's Kevin. We're back with another project. We're going to be building a bed for my granddaughter, a princess bed. And I've already told everybody I don't like working with wood. I'm not that good at it, but we're going to give it a shot. So we're going to try to give you guys measurements and stuff the best that we can on how we make it. There is no blueprints. All I have is a picture, and that's what I'm going by. I'm going to, I just got a picture. I know what the size of the mattress is in a picture. So we're going to Okay, build a this is bed. just some of the material we're going to be using on this princess bed. We have some 2x3s. We have a sheet of half inch plot board. We have a few sheets, I think there's five sheets of Lou on there. And we got some 2x4s. Now the 2x4s, we're going to cut them in half. We want 2x2s is what we want. And I figured it was cheaper for me to buy these 2x4s than it was to buy the 2x8s. I got a table saw, so I'll just cut them in half and we'll have 2x2s. This bed will be put in to, it will be put in sections. We'll build it in sections and put it together. Because there's no way we're going to move this bed into the bedroom or into the house all in one piece. So it's going to be built in, in okay, pieces. Okay, there's the picture that I have. It's on my phone. I know it's not real good. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. I'm not sure. So that's the picture I got. Okay. And that's the wood I got. We got, uh, this is what our mattress is going to set on. So we got, uh, what we did is we built this, it's pretty much like your box springs uh, to your mattress. You know, your box springs is just wood anyhow. So this is basically it. Now we knew our mattress was 38 inches wide and 74 and a half inches uh, long and it's seven inches thick. So what we did is we built this actually three inches longer and three inches wider. So you'd have a place to put your blankets down in there. Just give you a little bit of room to put your blankets down in there. So we have this done and what we did, we screwed this and we put glue in here and we got doubled up on the screws and we glued everything together. So it's got uh, glue in there and uh, screws. So it's pretty sturdy and pretty square. We have the plywood cut for it. I'll show you the plywood. It's actually a half inch plywood. Back there, we got it on the table. We put the half inch plywood boards right there. We're using it to cut on now. And uh, then we, we built the back wall. This back wall is uh, 62 inches high. And uh, let's see, let me make sure I give you a right measurement on the length of it. I think it's exactly 80 inches wide. So it's 80 inches that way, which would be the width of the bed. And then, um, it's uh, 64 inches high. Now, where we're going to put this, we only have 66 inches to get this up a stairwell. So this is going to be the biggest piece, and we do believe this thing's going to make it up the stairwell. Now, since you've been gone, I took all them two-by-fours and turned them into two-by-twos. So now I got uh, eight. I had eight two-by-fours. I got 16 of them now. I'm not sure that's going to be enough, but... We're gonna if we have to get more we get more so that's what we got done so far we're gonna call it a night this will be I'm sure a couple days so that's basically all we got done so all right tomorrow's all right. another day there's a picture of the bed we're trying to build uh, I'm not real good at the woodworking but that's what we're hoping to build I'm not so sure it's gonna have the doors and the drawers over here, we may just make it all with the, the shelving in it, which would be easier for me because I'm not that great at the woodworking. But no blueprints, just a picture. And a lot of thinking how that thing's built. Okay, we got uh, this is the back side. It's pretty much done. As you can see, we glued it and we uh, put some little nails in there. So, this should be a pretty good, strong piece. Uh, it's not real heavy because we use the LeVon and the 2x2s. So, we're going to cut another little piece down here on the bottom just to finish it out uh, to the bottom. Now, our mattress is seven. Seven and a, I say seven inches. 
So our mattress actually is going to start where this blue line is right here. So our mattress will actually come up to here. And then from down, down here, it is 14 and a half inches up. It's going to leave us two pretty nice steps. Now, uh, you figure your, your uh, step, your riser is probably going to be six inches and then another half inch on there. So we just got it basically to the bottom of the mattress. It's 14 and a half inches, just in case anybody wants to know how high it is from here to the mattress. It's 14 okay, and a half inches. coming along. It's, uh, we got the back. Uh, this is actually the back of the bed here, and uh, this is uh, where our mattress is going to sit on right here. Um, and then we got one wall done. A lot of angles on this thing, and um, we want to try to get it as square as we can and get the angles the best we can. So it's it's been tough. And I know I told you guys I'd try to give you some sizes on this thing, but the sizes are just like... You know, it's not like it's, this bed's being made for a bedroom that's got a cathedral ceiling. It's really low on one side and really high on the other. So as you can see, we got this in a, in a taper here. We got a, an angle coming up. So really your bed's probably not going to be the same as this bed here. But I'm going to do the best I can on try to give you some sizes, but I, I don't know how good I can do it. I'll, I'll try my best. We do have a wall done. We're going to use this. Well, we didn't put this. This is not down on here yet. But we're going to use this like as a pattern for the other wall. So we want to try to keep this off so we can get all of our measurements on all of our wood underneath of this to uh, make our next wall. We want them to be identically the same. So that's the best way. That's more two before we strip them out. So we're going to start working on this other side. But like I said, we're going to use that as a pattern. We're going to cut each piece the same as that and put us another side together and try to go ahead and start getting this thing put together so we can get our front put on it. So uh, we're just going to get these drawn off to the side and start laying out the other side. We're using a Gorilla Glue and a caulk gun to glue all the sides on and all the little wand that we're putting on we're gluing it all. And then we're using a small nail gun and just putting some small nails on it. Okay we got the uh Outside of this one wall, all uh, everything's nailed and glued. And uh, I don't know if anybody's got any nail guns, but this thing sure comes in handy for uh, putting these things together. Sure better than using a hammer. Uh, we're getting ready to do the inside of this one, so it's going to be different. We're going to put Luan on it, but we're also going to put some holders on there to hold the bed up, to hold the mattress part up. So that's going to be our next step on this uh Bed, right? What we're doing now is we're just temporarily putting up the sides that we got built in the back in the in the where the mattress is going to set. So we're just going to get this thing set up to where we can get it all screwed together and work on the front of this bed. So basically, you can see what we're working on. So let's go ahead and get this put on. These pieces are not really that heavy. They're not too heavy, so we can move them around. I just, you couldn't do this all at one time. You lift up the front of this one. Okay. We're just temporarily screwing these together. Then when we get it in the, where it's going to go, we'll uh, put it together for... Well, I don't know about good, but it'll be together. Forever, I don't know about forever. Alright, you can see we got the archway cut out. Now we just took our piece of cardboard and traced it out on the cardboard, cut it out, and then we laid it on the piece of wood that we wanted the arch in, and that's what we come up with. So now we're going to try to get this framed up and get that. This will be the back side of it. The front side, we're going to cut 14 inches off of that. It's going to be on each side so we'll be able to screw this thing okay. together you can see we got our archway in here and this is just the the framework the insides on all the blue wand is on the inside now the two pillars that will go up the sides we're not going to put anything no blue wand on here because we got to be able to screw this thing together we can't take it into the house in one piece so every bit of this can be taken apart into a bunch of sections and we'll take it in and set it up for her. Now as you can see 
like this is your outside archway this piece will only cover that and then that'll be open and then this will be open over here so we can put our screws in the side and then our big pillar will go on the side okay the, these are actually bookcases on here so we'll have both sides be bookcases I know on the original it has some drawers and it has a cabinet like a door over here I'm not going to build them because I don't know how and I don't have the tools to do it so we're going to put bookcases or shelves she can put teddy bears on there or toys or whatever on both sides okay this is uh pretty much the side of it as you can see it's got a taper on the top because that's the way her bedroom is uh so yours might be flat on the top i don't know and then uh there's, there's going to be another like on this archway we're actually right now trying to soak a piece of plywood and i cut a piece of uh two by four and i just took three eighths of it and i got it soaking in water too so we're going to try to bend that archway out of that couple pieces of wood never done one before but that's what we're right, trying we got for the front of the arch done this is the front and this front is all done now we put a piece of uh plywood three eighths plywood inside of here we kind of soaked it in water and we got it to bend up in there it don't look the greatest but what we're going to do is we're going to take some drywall compound we're going to sand this really good and then we're going to put some drywall compound in there to smooth it up a little bit so that's what we got done so far now we're going to start working on the steps that's our next step we're going to do our steps then we'll do our two bookcases for both sides all right you can see we got the steps done all they're made out of is one buys actually i think they're one by ten this is what they are we chopped them down this pad up here is about i think it's six six and three quarters wide and this one's probably six but the little feet on there not big feet little feet so we got the steps done. They're actually made out of old material. We had some old uh, one buys and we built them. So our next step is going to be uh, building our two towers. So we're going to get the book uh, shelves put in there not too long. Today we're working on the, the pillars, uh, the bookcases or whatever shelves to go up the sides. This is the shape we want. So what we're doing, we're taking our one buys and running them through the table saw and we're cutting 22 degree angles on each one of these. And that gives us a 90 degree angle. So it'll be square. And this is the size of the pillar that will go up the side. That'll go clear up the side. That's what we're looking for. So that's what we're working on today. All right, we're getting the glue on the first uh, bookcase pillar. It's looking pretty good. I uh, hope it turns out as nice as it looks now. I'm sure there's going to be some sanding. But uh, never built one of these before. And hopefully I won't have to build any more for a long, well, long time. We got our towers built. Both bookcases are put in. All we got to do is we got to put the tops on them. And then uh, we're going to do a top on this for a little banister and then our decorative thing there so and then the, the baseboard we're going to do a baseboard trim on this okay uh, we're working on our tops of our uh, bookshelves now we have a one by six just a plain old one by six and we, we're cutting uh, <clears throat> these 22s all the way around here each one of these this is going to give our top piece it'll be notched out like the top of the castle so we're we're just going to cut each one of these okay, pieces you see out. what we did we just we uh we marked each one of these divided them all in pieces and we're going to cut them out and when they go together you'll have these ones here sitting there and then like this piece on the corner will be missing already and then that will give us our other piece of our our top so we'll just notch all these out and then we'll have our top okay. to our castle. The crown's done. It looks good. Not too bad. Now we're going to putty up all the little nail holes and that thing. Give it a couple coats of primer. But uh, we're going to get the other one finished before we get uh, working on these primer and paint. We still got a lot of work to do. So hang in there and uh, watch us get it done. Alright, we got our, our top uh, crown on this one and we got that one on. And we're going to fill in, you know, like all the little nail holes you see there uh, where the nail gun put the nail in there. 
we're going to fill them in with some kind of a filler. And these are all going to get painted, so it's probably not going to see much of it. We need to get these put back on here, so we got to find out how we can screw these on and kind of hide the screws in there. And then we're going to work on our banisters and uh, get these little uh, spindles put in. So that's probably going to be our next step, getting this put back on there and then doing both of our banisters well, on this. Uh, this bed. is what we got for our uh, top of our, I guess we can call these an end cap or a railing, top of your railing, and our spindle. And I cut these so these would be notched down inside. So what I'll do is I'll put these on. When they're on there, I won't be able to take this out until I'm ready to take it to her house and put the bed together. I'll pull the top off. So these will actually just slide in here. They won't be nailed or anything, but they'll be a separate piece. So everything will be set. We have to be able to tear this bed apart. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and slide these in here. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and nail that into place. And then, like I said, when we take it apart, this spindle is not nailed in. It, it'll just come right out with everything else. And when we put it back together, we'll set it down on top of it. So that's how we're going to do that piece. And we got to do another one over on this side the exact same way. Now, hey, we're messing up wood. Nobody's perfect. Here's one of the, the top of the banister I cut and uh, cut the hole on the wrong side. So, you know, you got to count on losing some wood. You're going to lose it. So, but we'll just keep on going. We don't worry about that. Okay, we got it nailed in there. Now it's one piece with both of these. So when we pull it apart, this piece will slide right out. It doesn't turn. It won't, it won't go nowhere until we pull this top off now. And it's down in the bottom and up in the top, so it's good to go. And there's no way for her to get her head through this. We got such a small hole there, we want to make sure the baby can't get her head anywhere around or through that hole. So I think we're close All enough. All right, on now that. you can see we got this piece in and we got this one in. So now we're going to start working on the top piece up here. As I've said a hundred times on this video, I don't have any measurements, so it's going to take us a little while to try to guess what the measurements are on this top piece so uh stick around we'll see how that turns out well it's done we got this piece and that piece up now we're going to work on this center piece and it's going to stick up a little bit higher and it's going to have a couple little things on the top of it so we're going to uh work on that next so okay, here, as you can see, it's coming together pretty good. We got that uh, all this done up here, and uh, we're gonna get it. Uh, we'll get it all primered and everything. It'll it'll look nice. It'll it's turning out. I hope you guys liked the video. It sure is a tough one. Not no no sizes. Okay, we got one. all the detail work done now. The only thing that's left is we have to do the primer, and we're gonna patch up some of these little holes. And we still have to work on this archway just a little bit. And then uh, we're going to get the paint, the couple coats of primer on there and a coat of paint. And it should turn out pretty nice. We'll give you uh, a little uh, view of it when we get it all finished up. Well, as you can see, we're putting our uh, putty in all the cracks and everything and getting it ready for that first coat of primer. Uh, it takes a little bit to get all the little cracks and everything. Of course, we're kind of picky on what it looks like. So we're trying to do our best on getting the putty on there, and we don't mind sanding it down and cleaning it up because we're for sure it's going to look good.
Are you painting good? Keep painting. You make it look pretty now. Huh? Did you do good job? All right. Are you done? You gonna do some more? Okay. Hang on, I'll dip it for you. Stay there. Mike, I'll get back. Stay there, I'll get you paint. There. Do a pretty job, none up here. No, we don't want to paint that. Let's not paint that. No, no, no. Paint that there. That's nice. No, we got something on there. You use that up first. You paint that. Look. Look how much is on there. No, look, she's painting by herself. Pretty. Oh, look how pretty. Don't fall. Be careful. Look how pretty that is. You're doing a beautiful job. You're doing a beautiful job. Good nice. That's beautiful. Okay, stay there. I'll dip it. You got it. Go ahead. No, you got enough. Use that up. Okay, I gotta help you. Oh, I gotta help you. You paint Levy. That looks so pretty! Yeah, As you can see, the Princess Bed is turning out pretty good. Better than I thought it would, actually. We have um, some letters we're going to put up on the top. They'll say Princess on it. And then we have some shears that need to be put in here. Uh, some type of shear. Now the corners, like in here, and then down through there and then like inside the bed and stuff. Now that will all be done when we get it into her bedroom. Uh, we're not going to put any, we got some painters caulk we're going to put in there. But we're not going to do it until we get in her bedroom because we still got to tear this bed apart. So as you can see we got one coat of paint Okay, the princess is on there. We got to put it on there. It's actually a raised letter. It's made out of wood. Uh, and it's a sparkle. It's got a sparkly uh, on it, you know, it kind of sparkles. And uh, tomorrow we're going to pick up a, a nice curtain rod and a set of shears for this. So uh, the end is near. We'll be giving this bed to her hopefully Okay, tomorrow. as you can see, we got everything done. We got our shears up there. Everything's got its paint, all the first coat of paint on it. We wanted to tell you guys thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe or thumbs up or thumbs down. And Libby, we wanted to tell you, happy, happy birthday. birthday.